So once again, I congratulate to all of you who got this one right. Question number three. Suppose this a vector, 4i cap minus 3j cap, and there's a b vector, 6i cap plus 8j cap. Now try this one out mentally without using pen and paper. But, uh, give me the magnitude of the summation of these two vectors. Suppose a uh, resultant vector is a vector plus b vector. So give me the magnitude of r vector and give me its direction. Work it out mentally. This is pretty simple. Come on, come on. Okay, so magnitude, we represent it like this. Magnitude of R vector is 5 root 5 and the angle which this vector makes with x axis is tan inverse half. So this, this one is simple and uh, will not be discussing this. This is very simple. Question number four, there are three vectors. A vector is equal to suppose three i cap plus two j cap and b vector is equal to a i cap minus two j cap. A is a variable and uh, c vector is equal to five i cap plus b j cap. Now suppose these three vectors are representing some force. So this unit will be Newton and the magnitude you can get from here and the direction also you can get from here. So these three vectors are representing force. Now suppose I tell you that these three forces are acting on a body and these are the only three forces that are acting on the body and the body is at rest. So find the value of A and B. So do that please. Okay, now if these are the only three forces acting on the body and the body is at rest, that means the summation of these three forces should be zero. Because if the body is at rest, that means it, the net force on the body is zero. If there would have been a net force, then the body would move. So the summation of all these three forces should be zero. So A vector plus B vector plus C vector should be a null vector. Now if you do the summation, you will get 3 plus A plus 5 I cap plus 2 minus 2 plus b j cap is equal to 0 and both of them should be 0 in in the positive x direction and in the positive y direction the force should be 0 force should not have any component in any direction so both of them individually must be 0 only then the net force would be 0 now for this to be 0 a should be equal to minus 8 and for this to be 0, B should be equal to 0. So that is your answer. Okay. Suppose there are three forces at 120 degree with respect to each other. And they all have same value. Suppose A, A and A. Now what is the sum of these three forces? You don't have to do it from feeling. You have to actually do the mathematics and see what is the sum of these three forces. Up till now, we have done the addition of vector of, of two vectors. We haven't tried and went into finding the summation of two or more than two vectors. Now here I'm giving you three vectors. So we are progressing. Now what you have to do is, you have to use the same formula as we have done up till now for these two or any two of the vector. Find the resultant and use from that resultant and the third left out vector, you again find the summation. That will give you the net summation. That means some of these two, you do the summation, you get a result. You add that result, resultant vector to the third vector and you get the final result. That's how you will do the net summation of these three vectors. So please try this one 
use both the formulas that we have studied that is the formula for magnitude of the resultant vector and the angle which that resultant vector makes use that formula you will have a good practice and find the summation of these three vectors So I'm assuming that as a good student, you have solved it. Okay, let us do now. If you have done already, it's very good. If you did and but you could not, then pay attention. A vector, A vector. We just have two basic formulas for vectors up till now. So the formula for the magnitude of the resultant vector is a square plus 2ab cos theta plus b square. a and b are the magnitudes of the vector, theta is the angle between them. The magnitude is there is the a and the other vector also has the same magnitude. The angle between them clearly is shown as 120 degree. So oh a square plus 2 a b cos 120 degree is minus half now you should know that uh, i think in trigonometry by now you must have studied uh, angles greater than 90 degree if you have not then this is a very common standard angle you should know cos 120 degree is minus half plus b square now this would come out as a square minus a square plus a square so that is that is what that is a so this is uh, the <coughs> resultant of these two vector now how that vector will be oriented where in that space it would be for that we have to find the angle of the vector phi so tan phi we know is a the formula that we studied was b sine theta upon a plus b cos theta but this is that phi phi in this case phi is the angle from vector a okay so uh, the, the vector b the magnitude of vector b is also a and theta is the angle between the vector so a sine 120 degree upon a plus a cos 120 degree now this is sine 120 degree is root 3 by 2 sine is positive in second quadrant and cos 20 degree is minus half cos is negative in second quadrant so this will give us root 3 now tan theta is root 3 this is a standard angle you know that sorry tan phi is root 3 it's a standard angle so phi is 60 degree tan 60 degree is root 3 we all know that okay so what does this mean this means that the resultant vector is making an angle of 60 degree with with a vector a, I mean in this case both are same so actually it is making 60 degree with both the vectors so the resultant vector is making 60 degree angle with both the vectors and actually so it will be symmetrically placed this is the resultant vector now see this angle is 120 degree and this angle is 60 degree it is making a linear pair 60 degree plus 120 degree is 180 degree that means these two lines are making linear pair that means they are in a straight line and but opposite to each other they are in a straight line this magnet the vector this vector has a magnitude of a and this resultant vector also has a magnitude of a and they are on a straight line but opposite to each other in that case we know that vectors are simply subtracted so these two will be subtracted the resultant vector and the third vector the summation of that would be zero so the net summation of the three vectors is zero so the answer would be zero and i hope i really really hope that you got the right answer and i more of really really hope that you did the right mathematical analysis and just not you guessed it